Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you a total of 10 different braid styles and how to create them. This video is made specially for the beginners and I will show you the closer the technique how to create these looks. First, I show you how I create three strand braid. Take some hair and separate the hair strand in three equal pieces. Like this. Then I start the braid. Bring the leftmost strand over to the middle. Then the right strand over to the middle. And here you can see how I'm holding the strands. I use two fingers to hold this strand and two others to hold middle strand. Then cross again the left strand over. Again, you can see how I'm holding my right hand. Then bring the right strand over. Now I hold the strands with the left hand. Then bring the strand over and over and over and continue like this. If you want to pancake your braid, pull out the edges of the braid just a little bit. Don't touch the inner section because that holds the braid so it will stay tight and neat even if you want to pancake it. And here's the final look of the three strand braid. Next I will show you how to create a rope twist braid. Take some hair and separate the hair in two equal pieces. Next twist the rightmost strand to the left. Then spin the strands over each other's to the right. Then Twist again the rightmost strand to the left and spin them over each other to the right. Twist again the rightmost strand and then spin the strands to the right. Twist the strand to the left and spin over each other to the right. Twist left, spin right. Twist left, spin right. And here's the view how this row parade looks. The third braid I will show you is the fishtail braid. Take again some hair, let us start with. Share the hair piece in two sections. Take the small strand from the left side and bring that small strand over like this to the right strand. Then I take the strand from the right, bring it over and add that strand to the left. Take a strand, bring it over and add to the right. As you can see, I'm holding the stitch all the time with my thumb and forefinger like this. That's how the braid can't undo. And this is the only place you need to hold on to keep up with the braid. Take a small strand from right, bring it over and add to the left side.
Then take the small piece from left, bring it over and add the strand to the right side. Take a small piece from right, bring it over and add to the left side. Just keep on braiding like this. Next, I will package this fisto braid. Take a small amount of stitches at the same time between your fingers and pull the strand out from the braid. And here's the final look of the Fistel Parade. Then I will show you how to create Infinity Parade. Take a piece of hair and separate it in two pieces. Next, take a small piece from the right side. Then bring that strand under the right strand and over the left strand. Then turn around and print the small strand again under the left strand and after that over the right strand. Turn around, bring the strand under and over. If you watch closely, you can see that I'm holding again the same technique, these strands. And when I twist the strand here, I put my forefinger between these strands and then just twist my wrist. Bring the strand over. Again, I put the forefinger between these strands, as you can see. And then I twist. That's how I can easily turn the strand under. Put the forefinger between like this and then twist then bring the strand over our finger between and twist and when these smaller strands getting too small it's nearly end add some hair into this strand then just continue braiding Bring the strand under and over. Then put your forefinger between and twist the strand back to the under. Then again over. Use your forefinger and twist the smaller strand back under, then over and back under. Keep on repeating this pattern.
And here's the final look of the Infinity Parade. Next, I will show you how to create a lace parade. This time, you need small section of hair from the another side of the head. I start from the right side. Then separate the strand in three pieces and start to bring strands over to the middle. So left over, then right over, left over, add some hair from the left side. If you started from the left side, you need to add hair from the right side. Then the right over, left over, add hair. Right over, left over, add some hair. With this braid, it's important to notice that I actually holding the braid only by using my thumb and the fourth finger, and I'm holding only the middle strand of the braid, that previous one. Cause it's that simple that when you hold the previous strand, the ones before that strand cannot undo. So hold the last stitch. It's perfect enough. If you want to make the braid look a little bit bigger, you can pancake the edges of the braid like this. Use the same technique as on the braids before this. Once the braid is reached desired length, secure the braid with an elastic. For the next braid you need 3 strands. Start by bringing the strand from side over to the middle a few times. Then I start to add hair. Take some hair from the left side, add them to the left strand and bring the left strand over to the middle. Next, take some hair from the right side, add this section to the right strand and bring the right strand to the middle. Add hair from the left side to the left strand and then bring the left strand to the middle. Then add some hair from the right and bring the right strand over to the middle. Then add some hair to the left strand and bring the left strand over to the middle. Keep on repeating like this until the end of the hair.
And here's the final look of the French parade. Our next parade is Dutch parade. Take a strand of hair and share the piece in three equal sections. Then start to bring strands from side under to the middle. Right under, left under. Add hair from the left side and add that to the left strand you just moved to the middle. Then move the right strand under and add the hair to the strand you just moved. Then bring the left strand under and add some hair to that strand. Make sure the sections you add in are equal. Then bring the right strand under, add some hair. And after that, move the left strand under and add some hair to that strand. Then bring the right strand under, add some hair to that strand. Next, I pancake just a little bit the strands on above. To make sure this braid will be easier to pancake later. Then bring the left strand under and add hair. Next, move the right strand under and add some hair from the right side to the strand you just moved. Left under. Pancaking again a little bit. Then I continue by adding hair to the strand I previously moved. And after that, just continue braiding like this until the end of the hair. Next, I will show you the easiest waterfall braid. At least, to me, it's the easiest. You need for this three strands. 
make sure the strands are equal. Then start the braid. Bring the rightmost strand over, then the left over. Leave the strand you started out and cross two strands again. Take a new strand, bring it over and then under and leave that strand out. Twist again two strands over each other. Then add hair, bring it over, under, leave out, then twist. Add hair, bring that strand over and under, leave out and twist. Take a new strand of hair, bring it over, under, leave out and twist. Take a new strand of hair, bring it over, under, leave out and twist. Take a new strand, bring it over, then under, leave out and twist. Keep on repeating like this. Once the braid is on desired length, add hair last time just like you usually do, but this time don't leave the waterfall strand out of the braid. Just take the elastic and secure the braid like this. And here's the final result of this twisted waterfall braid. The second last braid I will show you is 4 strand braid. Take a piece of hair for that and separate the hair in total of 4 sections where you have 3 equal sections and one little bit smaller one. This strand is the smaller. Then I beginning with the side where I have 2 bigger strands. I bring the leftmost strand over, then under the smaller strand. And here you can see how I'm holding the strands. Thumb, four finger between and three other fingers on that space. Then I bring the rightmost strand under. And after that, over the middle strand, that is the smaller one. Now I bring the leftmost strand over, then under the middle strand, then take the rightmost strand, bring it under and over the smaller one. Then bring the left strand over, after that under the smaller one. Then bring the right strand under and over the smaller one. And in this braid technique, as very many other braids too, the most important thing is that you hold the strand you previously moved. So the last stitch. When you hold the last stitch, the ones before that one cannot undo either. 
In this particular technique, I use my middle finger between the strands on the middle. You can see it's right here. And every time when I created one stitch, I bring my middle finger on that point here and that makes sure that the braid cannot undo is after all that simple if you want your braid look a little bit bigger feel free to pancake edges of the braid with the same technique as usual pancake only the outside edges not the inside and here's the final look of this four strand braid The last braid technique of this video is the five strand braid. As you may guess, this braid technique requires a total of five equal strands of hair. So, separate your pieces. Once all of your strands are ready, start braiding from the left side. Bring the strand over, then under the next. Next, take two outmost strands on your fist and beginning again from the right side. Bring the outmost strand over and under. Then take the strands from the right side on your fist. Then the outmost strand, I use again this twisting technique I've used many times before. As you can see, bring the strand over and after that under the middle strand. After that, use again your fist to hold two outmost strands. Bring the right strand over. And after that, under the middle, the leftmost strand over and under the middle, rightmost strand over and under the middle, leftmost strand over and under the middle one. Keep on repeating this pattern until the braid is on desired length. And here's the final look of this 5 strand braid. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like it. Have a great day.